We are going to be working here in the kitchen today because it has just gotten to a place where it is not functioning the way it should be. I have always loved to declutter and I don't have a whole lot of things in my kitchen, but there's just things that are not in the right places. It's not flowing very well. And so I want to rearrange a few things and then maybe even declutter a few things. I don't have a whole lot to get rid of. Um, and then just put some things away that don't belong out anymore. So let's go ahead and tackle this project today. I have so many different things that I want to do in this kitchen, but I decided just to start over here in this corner and just work my way around the kitchen because otherwise I didn't know where to start. <laughs> so if you ever feel like you just don't know where to start when you're tackling a place, just pick a corner and just start working your way around the room. But I'm starting up here above the refrigerator. I'm cleaning as I go. There are some things that just needed to be cleaned out. Um, my husband gave me that huge box of chocolates for Valentine's Day, which is really fun. I've never had a huge box like that. We're still going through it. But anyways, I decided that I wanted to clean off the top of the fridge. I usually just use my duster, but today I really wanted to get this clean with my all-purpose spray. And then I noticed that while I was up there, I noticed that inside the door, between the door and the fridge was really dirty as well. I don't normally look in this area, but seeing it up, being up on steps really made me realize how dirty it was. So I'm going to clean that as well. And then after all of this gets cleaned, I'm just only putting back the chocolates and then my husband's donut sticks that he has every morning. The tin was a popcorn tin back from Christmas time and we never really finished it, but it was just sitting up there. So it was time to take that down and get rid of that. Next up was this cabinet right next to the refrigerator. I needed to replace the sugar and flour because that had been emptied. And then I just needed to do a quick wipe down of the cabinet. So um, it's really dirty in here. I have a bunch of just different spices and baking supplies and I like where they're at. It seems to be working well for me, but it just needed to be taken out and wiped down. So I'm gonna do all of that in this space here and then we will tackle what's underneath of that cupboard next. <music>
I mentioned in a video back in January that one of my goals was to stop drinking coffee this year. I realized that I was dependent on it and I have finally reached that goal. I do not have to have coffee every single day. So that is a really great feeling. I, I will be honest though, I do miss coffee. And so every once in a while I will have a cup of coffee if we go out, like we went to Chick-fil-A for breakfast a couple of weeks ago. And so I did drink some coffee then and oh my goodness, it felt so good just to have that warm cup of coffee. But I'm so glad that I'm not dependent on it anymore like I had been. So I am actually taking that out. I'm going to clean the coffee maker and then I'm going to set it away in a cabinet so that it doesn't even tempt me to want to make any coffee. Um, I have, I do keep it just because when people come to visit, I want to be able to make coffee for coffee drinkers, but I'm putting it off of my countertop for now. next space that needed to be organized was this utensil and silverware drawer. I keep lids in here and measuring cups and my rolling pin and, you know, just all kinds of things. And it really was not working. It was just causing so much frustration. So I'm taking out some things that we just really don't use very often. And then I'm going to rearrange, well, I'm going to clean everything out, out first of the drawer. And then I'm going to rearrange it in a way that is just a lot more functional. And so today I hope that this is just an encouragement to you to clean these spaces in your kitchen, but also if something is not working for you, take that as a sign that you need to change it up, that it's okay to move things around and try things differently. So let's go ahead and get this drawer cleaned out. One of the problems I always have with this drawer is that it moves around on me. And so I have been using mounting putty or just like sticky tack is another way I've, that I've called it before, but I really love this one from the Gorilla Glue line. And I'm just putting it on the bottom of the containers and that just keeps it in the drawer and it doesn't slide it around. I've been using that in my desk drawer and in a couple other places. And so this is what I decided to use in here for the utensils and it just works so well. So we took a break for lunch and I got all that cleaned up and now is when I'm going to start doing some 
just musical chairs, I guess you could call it here in the kitchen. So down here, I have the third drawer is our snack drawer. And I think I want to take all of that out and put it in our kitchen island because we already have so, uh, cereal in the kitchen island. So I think that way I can just kind of keep the food in one spot. Um, and then I want to put some of our pots and pans and our plastic goods and my mixer in those two drawers because right now I have up here, let me show you, up here in this cabinet. Okay, so I'm okay with a lot of this. I do want to take out some of these little knick-knacky things and some of these cups that we don't use a whole lot. But up here, I have some pots and lids and I want to put those down in the drawer. And instead, up on that shelf, I want to put a bunch of our drink cups. So uh, I don't know, for some reason, we've just collected a lot here lately. And so I've been just kind of lining them up over here because I don't have a good spot to put them. So I wanna put all of those up in that top cabinet. Hopefully that will work. So that's what I'm gonna work on now. Look at all these cups that we have collected. Just so many plastic cups. These are from when the kids were like toddlers. And sometimes they, they do have little lids that go on top of them. And they're nice for like when people come and visit. So I think, I think I'm gonna keep those. And then these came from a pumpkin patch and these are some of my kids' favorite drinks to um, drink out of. They're just really sturdy plastic and they have lids on them. They can drink out of a straw, so I'm gonna keep these as well. Um, and then I don't know, these came from Burger King in a kid's meal. Um, we're not even Smurf fans. Like we don't even watch the TV show. So I think I might get rid of these. The only thing is that they're nice, sturdy plastic. Uh, I don't know. We'll think about that. Um, and then these are Cane's cups, which again, these Cane's cups are just disposable, um, kid's meal cups, but they're really nice because you can put the lid on them and they're just easy. Like, especially if people come to visit. So I'm trying to think what I want to do. Um, these my kids just got for Christmas. So I'm definitely going to keep those, but I think I'm going to put them in the Christmas bin instead of having them up here. Um, oh, and then my daughter's Awana. She's in Sparks. So this is her cup. We'll have to keep that one. But I think I'm going to condense a few of these. So here's what we have. We're going to, I have more of these thermos type cups, but some of them just need to be washed. So that will fill up pretty quickly. And then I just have our popcorn containers, plastic cups, and some of our regular drinking cups, which we have broken some recently and I need to replace some of those. So that will probably be getting fuller um, once I replace them. And then I have our plates and our bowls. And then these I just use for like fruit cups or like applesauce. Uh, or dips and same with these these were my grandmother's and I got them um, after she passed away and we use those just for like we don't use them for mugs for drinking we use them for the same thing that we use these bowls for so I feel like that looks a lot better now I'm gonna tackle the drawers This snack drawer and bread drawer was such a mess. I can't believe we lived with it as long as we did. And when I get all of these things taken out, I'm going to show you the crumbs at the bottom. It's really bad. <laughs> but anyways, I was so happy to get all of this taken out and reorganize it. It just was not working in this drawer down here. And instead, after I clean all of this out, I'm going to put it in a couple of baskets 
And we have been using this now for almost a week and it's working so much better where I have it at in the kitchen island. I wish I would have done this sooner. I had been putting this project off for a while, really for months, because I knew it was gonna take me a little while and I just wasn't really sure how I wanted to do it. But I'm so glad that I did it. And honestly, I did it after the we finished homeschool for the day. And then I took a break for lunch and then we, um, I did a little bit more and then we had to go run some errands and we played outside and then we came back and I did a little more. So it wasn't like I was just sitting there for two hours getting it all done. I had to break it up. And sometimes I think when we have these big projects like that, we think, oh, it's going to take forever. There's no way I'm going to be able to do it. And so we put things off, but I have to remember that it's okay if I do it in little chunks of time or if it's not done perfectly or even if I don't know what the ending is necessarily going to look like as long as I get started and then that kind of starts the momentum and then I usually can finish a project. So hopefully that is an encouragement to you as well. love how these drawers turned out. We are now used to where they all belong and it's working so much better. I should have done this way sooner. And then down here is where I have all of those snacky items. Um, I do keep my toaster and then my two crock pots and my waffle maker and skillet down here. They're just kind of those bigger appliances that I don't use every day, but I use them enough where I need them to be easily accessible. So those are all down here. And then I also have cereal and my oats back there. They're kind of put behind the cereal boxes and then, you know, chips and crackers and pretzels and sunflower seeds and taco shells and bread, um, and even my kids' Christmas candy is still there in the back, so we're still working on that. But since that was all done, now I'm just going to go through the whole kitchen, and I'm just going to wipe all of the cabinets down. I noticed that the screen plate was really dusty, and so I cleaned that off as well. And sometimes I do get questions about how I clean my cabinets since they have the bry wax on them. I just clean them like I would normally. So the Bri Wax puts a coating on the stain. And so you can just wipe it down with anything. I usually just use warm water and a warm rag. And then I spray with my all-purpose spray, which is just Castile soap and distilled water. And it works just fine. It gets all the you know grease and gunk off of the cabinets. Um, so hopefully that answers some people's questions that they often leave on my Bri Wax video. One of the things that I really want to work on as a homemaker is doing more of these like monthly zone cleaning jobs. So this kitchen, I think it would be good if every month I just wiped the cabinets down, wiped the backsplash down, cleaned out the appliances, because those are just things that I sometimes forget and I just, oh, it's dirty, and then I wipe it down. But I really should just stay on top of it more and get them done on a regular basis so they don't get so dirty. <laughs>
Thank you for joining me today as I got my kitchen clean and organized. I hope that it has been an inspiration and an encouragement to you so that you can tackle a space in your home, maybe even your kitchen. I love sharing homemaking inspiration here on my channel and I would love for you to join if you have not already. I have lots of other cleaning and motivational videos here on my channel, so I will leave those linked for you so you can check those out as well. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.